Hey, what is up everybody? Today, I'm going to show you how to find the discriminant of any quadratics. So if we have the function ax squared minus bx plus c, then the discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. And so what does the discriminant do? Well, it tells us how many solutions this function has. Or in other words, how many times does this function touch the x-axis? And so there are three things that you should remember with the discriminant. The first thing is when it is larger than zero. So when the discriminant is larger than zero, it means that this function has two real solutions, or it touches the x-axis at two different points. When the discriminant is equal to zero, it means that this function has only one real solution, or it touches the x-axis at only one point. And we call the point of intersection here the x-intercept. So it doesn't matter if it touches the x-axis over here or over here, but what matters is when the discriminant is equal to zero, there is only one x-intercept. And so lastly, when the discriminant is smaller than zero, it means that this function has no real solutions, meaning that it does not touch the x-axis at any point. And so if we have 6x squared plus 10x minus 1, then the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, with this being a, b, and c. And so b squared is just 10 to the power of 2, minus 4 times a, which is 6, and c, which is negative 1. And so 10 to the power of 2 is just 100, and negative 4 times 6 times negative 1 gives us positive 24, and so it's 100 plus 24, which is 124. And so because this number is greater than zero, we know that this function has two real solutions. So how about 3x squared plus 24x plus 48? Well, again, here is the discriminant, and b to the power of 2 is just 24 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, and c, which is 48. And so if you calculate this, this gives you 576 minus itself, which is just zero. And so because it is zero, we know that this function has only one real solution. For x squared plus 3x plus 5, again, here is the discriminant, and b squared is 3 to the power of 2, minus 4 times a, here is 1, because this is the coefficient of the first term, which is 1, and c, which is 5. And so 3 to the power of 2 gives you 9, Negative 4 times 1 times 5 gives you negative 20, and so this is 9 minus 20, which is just negative 11. And so because this is smaller than 0, we know that this function has no real solutions. And so you might be asking, why does the discriminant work this way, or where does it come from? Well, that is actually a very good question. The discriminant comes from something we call the quadratic formula. And so here is the formula, and as you can see, the discriminant is just right under the square root sign. And so the value of the discriminant affects how many solutions x is going to have. And if you just think about it, why does the discriminant tell us that there are no solutions when it is smaller than zero? Well, because when the discriminant is negative, the, we, are, we are taking the square root of a negative number. And so in mathematics, that is not going to give us a real solution. So I actually did a video on the quadratic formula, which I will link it down in the description below. And I really recommend that you guys check it out to understand the whole picture. And so for now, I would like you to find the discriminant of the function 2x squared plus 1. And so that is it for today. I hope you guys have learned something new. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and comment down your questions and the answer down below. I'll see you guys next time.